It's been some time since I've done an unboxing. That's because uh, I've been kind of watching my pennies a little bit. I haven't been splurging on doing all the various Kickstarters I normally support. I mean, I've been supporting Kickstarters, it's just that some of them haven't come through in development. They've just been languishing out there. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. I'm going to get a phone call later. Anyway, I know what this is. Um, last weekend was SummerCon. I mean, not SummerCon, but CryptoCon. One of the first conventions I've done in a long time. And I damn near ran out of something. Thankfully, I could get more printed up. I even put a rush order on it because I wanted to make sure that the, the printing would be guaranteed by the time for my next convention, which will be in Lilac City in a couple of weeks. Guess what? It only took a couple days. I could have, you know, but what are you going to do? Maybe uh, they wouldn't have rushed the printing. If I had said, oh, just give it, give it to me normal time. Oh, man. These are really packed in there. Oh, man. As you can see, there are boxes within this box. I'm going to see if I can uh, pop one of these puppies loose. Dumping it upside down. Uh, there, I got one out. Gently across the top, gently across the other top, cut down the middle. Here we are. These are horror movie bingo cards. Now, many of you will know what these are. Some of you may not. Well, in horror movies, there's uh, tropes, things that pop up in horror movies all the time, like a scare cord or Maybe you'll see a cat, or there'll be a puddle, or you'll see a little ripple, or you'll see something like a creeper cam, or a spring of a corpse, or there's literally hundreds of these things. So I took 150 movie tropes, I kind of condensed a couple down, and I scattered them around on 25 different cards. Now Moo's a fun company. When I came up with this idea, I found out that Moo will print one pattern on one side, that would be this, and then up to 25 patterns on the other side. Now if you look in the corner here, you'll see a little number that lets you know which number of the 25 these are. Okay, so if I put 25, you know, I used an algorithm scatter them around onto 25 different cards, 150 movie tropes. No two cards are alike. No cards have two items that are the same. Well, the first print run did because I messed up. But the second press run, I made sure that there wasn't any duplicates of the same card. This is actually my third press run, which is a just a clean copy. So here are some I'm going to read off of this card. While you enjoy trying to find all the tropes that I put on the on the front. The obvious one being the cabin in the woods. So, light bulb burnout, dinner table, show it to you. That's where they reach in, pull it out, and show it to you. Overage teen actor, lighter, industrial fan, handprint, shadow, possession, Indecision, 
Ripple's Surveillance cap Camera Sasquatch Silhouette Blood Bath And we're not just talking blood, we're talking Blood Bath Creeper Cam Rustling Varmint Bad Weather Thunder Thunder and Barred Weather Not the same thing Creaky Mansion and or Castle Spider Voices And we're talking Type voices or invitation. Now, some of these are a little esoteric, like uh, overage teen actor and indecision, but that's where you get to have fun with your friends and arguing the point. Oh, he's definitely 30. What are you talking about? Well, he's got a bald spot, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, I just printed these off because they were selling so well on my third run. I did this as a, as a stretch goal. Thing just to, to add to a Kickstarter I did with my playing cards way back when, but it has become one of my best sellers. Anyway, that's today's unwrapping. I hope you enjoyed it.